Alright, hello fun and welcome to my new Fallout 4 miniseries of The Bleachers 2, The Fen's Sheriff's Department, which I'm quite excited to be starting up here today because it is supposed to be a DLC-sized quest and adventure mod, and is of course the very long-awaited uh, sequel to The Bleachers, which was a mod we played, ha oh boy, back when it released in 2019, so, um, been a few years. Now, sadly, because it has been so long, I do not have the save file from when I originally played the Bleachers, uh, you know, a fair few years ago now at this point. But thankfully, this mod has a handy dandy little feature because apparently this also does include all of the stuff from the Bleachers inside of it as well. And when you load in this thing, you get a nice little hollow tape here. The Fens Sheriff slash Diamond City story control and we can actually load this baby in and uh, cheat through all of the bleachers quests which is wonderful there we go cheat command finish all bleachers one quests which I'm quite excited about so let's click that and see what happens and then start up with the bleachers too okay got money we started a quest and I assume, okay, 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 we got some UI here. You'll have to wait two days for the next quest to start. A notification will appear or start it immediately with your cheat holotape. You just don't complain about unrealistic timing. Well, let's do the waiting. We have a house here in Diamond City, so we'll go just sleep for two days and see what happens. All right, I assume we're going to get a lot of UI things popping up over there in the corner as it completes all of those quests. And ooh, look at all the bottle caps we're getting too. Nice. Centerfield greenhouse. Oh yeah, I remember that cool looking greenhouse in there. Oh, I'm I don't remember a lot to be honest from stuff with the bleachers, but I do remember some of it. And uh yeah, there were a lot of cool characters, the cool new cafe area and that super awesome uh greenhouse over there. So yeah, let's head up on to here. Well, it goes through all of those things. And yeah, we'll sleep for uh, 24 I wish we could sleep for longer than 24 hours, but... <laughs> oh well, we'll sleep for one 24-hour session, and then a second 24-hour session, and roll from there. But yeah, I'm quite excited to pick up uh, the story on this one where it left off from. Like I said, though, I don't remember a whole lot. This was back in 2019 that we did play this, but I'm hoping once we start seeing some of the characters, etc., that we will get our memory jogged and we can roll from there. Alright, still completing that mass hysteria thing. So let's sleep for the next 24 hours. And then go check out the stuff up in the bleachers. I'm excited to see that area again because it was a very cool looking with a lot of neat decorations. So that should be fun to see all those things once more after all these years. Plus we should, since we finished the quest via this cheat command here, we should have another house up in there. But I figure we should sleep here first. And it's been two days. And... Oh, Domus Nostra. Been invited to dinner with the residents of the bleachers. Left field, 6 to 6.30, be there. Ah, okay, that was another one of the quests. Okay, since we slept for two days, it, um... It hadn't finished completing all the quests there in the corner. <laughs> alright, alright, cool, cool, cool. The left field diner. Oh, I remember that quest. Getting all the Nuka-Cola stuff. Oh, yeah. Or the soda for Mr. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I remember that quest. Yeah, we had to get the CO2 cartridges and everything. Oh, good times. I'm, I'm having some nostalgia at the moment. Fun. All right, anything more? Oh, that's when we just got the player home. I just saw that. Centerfield Greenhouse. I think this was the last quest. I think. Maybe? Well, we'll find out momentarily if anything pops up after this one. Oh, and hey, I got caps from Nuka, Nuka World. You know, I haven't gone to collect those in years. <laughs> All right, nothing else seems to be popping up now. So let's take a look in data. A death in the family. Hey, maybe you should check your brand new mailbox. Wouldn't that be a good idea? All right, cool. So our mailbox back at the new home that we now have. Sweet. All right, let's go check that out. Yeah, I'm very excited about this. I... Like I said, don't remember a whole lot from the bleachers, but 
I remember that it was freaking awesome. Hey there, lady. <laughs> Dad says not to talk oh, to oh, quiet, all of you people, don't care. And that there was a lot of good voice acting with a lot of good uh, characters. So I'm intrigued to see them all again. Back up and that away. Pardon me, folks. Alright, so we gotta go... Alright, we gotta go up that walkway there, it looks like. Was it always up there? I vaguely remember it being down here last time. Granted again, been years, been years. Where's the entrance? Oop. Ah, yes, there we are. Lovely. Love these lights. Beautiful, beautiful. And up into the left field diner. Hostess will seat you. Excellent. Okay. Kind of weird that we click the sign rather than, you know, go all the way to the door, but no. Oh, well. Let's head on in. Uh, Probably actually want to chat with people. Well, no, go, go to the mailbox. We'll go to the mailbox. Do what the quest says. Then maybe we'll reintroduce ourselves to the people and see if they have anything fun to say. And we probably should probably should actually follow the quest first. <laughs> so I don't get ahead of myself somehow and break something. That would be a good plan. But okay, we are in the diner. Sweet. Oh yeah, I remember all the cool decorations in this. Excellent. And in we go. Oh, you're not oh you are are you open or not? Hello? No, I don't think they're open. I guess it is super early in the morning right now, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah, it's like midnight. <laughs> Probably be weird to talk to any of the characters right now anyways. Oh, yeah, I remember how cool everything was decorated in this. Oh, magnificent. All right, well, let's go to the back. Oh, the robot! I remember you, Twisted Mister. Hi! And you won't talk. Cool, got it. Sweet. All right, bathroom. Fever Blossom. All this, hello, maybe don't touch that yet. <laughs> uh, the sheriff's room, all right, good. Oh. Ah, and the mailbox, so that's what we've got to look for. Got Mr. Dr. Pepper's room. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, this is the greenhouse, yes, the Centerfield greenhouse. That was my favorite place in the entire mod. Uh, oh, nice, got a, little, got a little setup going here. Uh, Dr. McClintock's room. We got our room here. Oh, hello, cat. What was this? Ben Sheriff's Department inaccessible at the moment. All right, apparently there's something in there that I need, but it won't let me open. Uh, okay, cat, you just chill in there, huh? Oh, look at our room. The mailbox was out there, but hold on. Got to remind myself about the cool room. Adam Cat's Boston. Kind of wonky-looking spinning fan. Alter girls. <laughs> MSD camo bandana. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Oh, yeah, and we got, like, the cool armor workbench here. Tiny little thing. Little, uh, chemistry station. Excellent. Excellent. That's worrisome with that bear. Anything on the computer to check out Why before we get going with things? No, just a blank terminal for us to use. What do you do? Shit grinder. Grind your shit up. Where the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Where is... Uh, I mean, follow the thing to over here. I don't remember that. I don't remember something called a shit grinder. <laughs> huh. I mean, the cable goes over there, but I don't see it any place. Alright, I'll just, I'll just leave it as... I'll just leave it as is. Okay, okay. Oh, we put it... In, okay, that was just the power coming in. We put the stuff into here, and then it grinds into the materials, I would assume. Uh, nifty. Okay, check the thing. Funeral invite. Oh, God, who died? I don't remember who might have died previously. Okay, well, funeral invite. Let's, let's go into there. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, scroll down, scroll down. There we go. I was confused at the beginning because there was stuff at the top that had F, but it looks like there's a space. <laughs> and that's why they're at the top. Okay. <laughs> I was very confused for a moment. Shouldn't it be up here? All right, no. So, funeral invite. Kodobos, the sheriff recovered Lily's body. Oh, no, not Lily. I remember her being a cool character. Oh, uh, we are going to the Adam Cat Garage to have a funeral service for Lily. Please join us. It would mean a lot, Dr. McClintock. 
Okay, okay. Well, we gotta go do that. To the Adam Cat's garage. So I wonder if everyone else is uh, not around at the moment. Love it. Love that greenhouse. Okay, yeah, let's leave. Let's go and see the funeral of a character I kind of remember. <laughs> not fully. Good day. Not fully. Yes, yeah, and good day to you too, Twisted Mister. Out we go. You know what I should have done before we did all this? Rewatch at least like the last two episodes of the previous series. <laughs> Probably should have done that. And maybe I'll do that after we do this today. That might be a good plan if I have the time. But okay, so to you. Oh, also. Nifty new icon. Sweet. Okay, to the Adam Cat's garage. Hopefully there's no enemies around there. <laughs> it's been a very, very long time since I've been here. I never cared much for the Adam Cats. Yeah, I, I, I vaguely remember Lily and remember her being a kind of a cool character. I don't remember her dying, though. Again, 2019 was when the bleachers came out, so that's that's not too surprising. <laughs> All right, so let's just go over to this funeral. Here are some speeches from the people. Hopefully that jogs my memory more on the characters. And then, yeah, roll from there with the rest of this. And see what's going to go down with the Fens Sheriff's Department. Hmm. We'll see. Bad guys? No bad guys. Good. Oh, God. Hi, dogs. Hello. Kind of worried me there for a moment. Is it going to be like a specific time? I should have checked over at the thing. Go to Lily's funeral at the Adam Cat's garage. Okay. Didn't say a specific time. Oh, there they all are. Oh, hi, folks. Oh, oh, oh that's a lot more people than I thought. Oh, Mr. Dr. Pepper, I remember hey. you. There you are. Yo. So, uh... No thanks necessary. Whatever. I'm not going to be here long. Oh, that's just rude. How dare I say something like that? Of course, I'm going to Oh, it's... We're friends, no thanks necessary. All the same, it's not a small task to get here from Diamond City. We all appreciate the effort. Well, I gotta be here for Lily. Alright. Thank you all for coming to pay your respects to our friend and family member, Lily. Mm -hmm. I can only speak for myself and DP, but we haven't been able to think about much else since the loss. So, I thought it would be nice to share some of the good things we remembered about her instead of only dwelling on how much we hurt. I think we can all agree that Lily would want us to remember her with a smile. Too true. DP, you knew her longer than anyone, since she was almost a baby. Why don't you tell us something about her? Of course, Bob. <clears throat> so Doc is right. Me, Lily, and Zeke here grew up in Diamond City. And I don't need to tell you that Lily was the toughest little girl I ever met. Her parents were killed by raiders when she was just a toddler. Trash can Carla found her hiding in some bushes by their bodies. Carla brought her to the city and left her with the first guard she found. The rest is Lily's story. If you call anything in Diamond City, the streets. Well, and that's where she grew up. Always getting into fights. Always coming to my mom to clean and wash another black eye or bloody nose when she'd fight her bullies. My mom would offer to take her in. So did Becky and Kathy. But Lily said handouts weren't her style. She was saying that at five years old. And that's Damn. what I remember most about Lily. She started making her own way in this hell before she lost all her baby teeth. She was some kind of rad badger or something, because she just didn't give a fuck. She went out and did Lily. I'm going to miss you, little hellion. Yeah, it's kind of how I remember her. Thanks, DP. Thanks for cruising out to our digs, you know. Nice to see you again after so many years. So Lily, our first and best fixer and the greatest Adam Cat to ever wear the armor. Those shiners and bloody beaks she got from the bullies that DP was talking about. She got them because she never backed down. I'm sorry. I can't disrespect her by talking like that. <coughs> I wanted to say she never once gave up what was hers to those bullies. Not a single damn time. Ever. No matter how many of them there were. Because that's Lily. She wouldn't let us give up our stuff to them neither if she was there. Cause that's Lily. Usually a sucker punch, cause that's Lily. <laughs> but that's where she got all those black eyes, DP. I thought you guys should know that. Not random fights, but from fighting back. She was with me when we started the Adam Cats. And I know I lay it on thick and tell you guys I whacked a pack of ferals for the garage. But the truth is, it was Lily. You need to know that. And she didn't care that I kept telling you that it was me, because that's Lily, kicking the right ass as harder than anyone else. 
All this power armor we got, the Atom Cats, the garage, none of it would be here if it wasn't for her. Stay cool, sister. Rizzo? She's even cooler than I remember. We had plans, you know? We talked about it, had it all worked out. You wanted me to move in with her DP, Barb. Well, that's what I was going to do when the time was right. It was going to be nice. We were going to move her workbench to right field, set up a nice family area in her room, raise a couple of kids, Lily style. I thought about it a lot. Made me smile thinking about a couple of toddlers terrorizing the bleachers. Huh? Can you imagine Lily as a mom? Uncle DP and Aunt Barb. God damn. But I wouldn't have had it any other way. I see you on the other side, my one and only. Wait for me there. Aw, poor Rizzo. I remember the first time I met Lily. It was only the second time I'd ever been to Diamond City. It was also only the second time I'd ever been more than a mile from Vault 81's front entrance. To give you some perspective. The deputies were escorting me around the outside of the city to find somewhere for the greenhouse. Lily was arriving from the garage here with Large Marge, hauling another load of power armor. As you can imagine, a full day's walk with that Brahmin left her... Well... I smelled them a block away. <clears throat> All right. I didn't say anything. I just stared, open-mouthed as we passed each other. I must have stuck out like a sore thumb. I just assumed she went around like that all the time and was horrified that a wastelander could live that way. <laughs> she said something like, I could get good cap for that juicy, soft, vault rat skin of yours, and kept walking, which just scared me even more. Needless to say, that didn't stop us from becoming friends not long after she showered and we met again in DP's diner that evening. They say you can't choose your family, but I chose Lily. And that's what Lily is to me. She's my little sister. We're and this wrinkle. awful world took her from me. And it's so empty without her. <laughs> Aw, oh, poor Doc. <laughs> Seriously, the weird camera angles this on some of this. This isn't over, Lily. Every score will be settled in this life. I promise you that. Most of you know how I ended up in the Commonwealth. Where I come from. What I used to be. How I fled with my husband, pregnant as a bus. Lily was the first person we met on the way down here that didn't try to shoot us. We were on our way to Diamond City. But Evan had other plans for his arrival time. It was Lily who found us as I was screaming through labor. Unfortunately, some synths had heard me too, and tried to kill my baby before he was even, well, out. We had no idea what they were, had never seen one before. We just knew that they wanted to kill us and my baby. Lily well, got to replace her somehow. by pure chance. She had just formed the Atom Cats here with Zeke and was joyriding in her new power armor. She turned those synths into scrap metal in her power armor and saved the three of us that day. She took us back to Diamond City and introduced us to the sheriff in her own unique way before stomping off. I'll never forget seeing her and her power armor stomping those synth heads she was so young just a kid i thought we were gonna die but me my family little evan born in a firefight we're all alive because of her all of us living breathing here today because of lily thank you lily for saving us, for being my friend, and for being a sister when I needed one most. We love you, and we'll miss you. You gotta admit, out of all the characters in this so far, I remember all of them except for her. I don't remember Sister Luna in the slightest. Love the power armor. Okay, well, it looks like we've got to talk to the Doc now. Yeah, check in on Doc McClintock. How you doing, Doc? Oh, no oh god, had some lag there. How you doing? Hi. 
Yes, un- yeah, unfortunately, very sad day. So, oh, there we go. I was about oh. to say, when are we going to get in the conversation here? I'm sorry. I just, um, this has been a very trying day. What, what, what did you need? I don't know. The quest, the quest told me to talk to you. <laughs> Oh, why are we even bringing that up? Oh, oh. Are you okay? Not really, no. I still see her face every time I close my eyes. This is something we're all going to need closure on to recover. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, about that closure. Okay, I kind of want to ask, though. I kind of want to ask. Clicking it. When the sheriff brought her body back to the bleachers, we had Dr. Gary do an autopsy on her. Oh, okay. That's become common practice with all of our dead. Just to be sure. That there seems were safe. no synth components of any sort that you find on Gen 3 synths present. That only points to one conclusion, unfortunately. That's really Lily in that grave. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you want revenge, huh? That's how the bleachers operates. Yeah. We still haven't found Lenny, the scaver who sold me the info about the mass chem hall. No, oh, I remember that. He knows our reputation of settling scores, and he hasn't come back to see me about the status of the tip he gave me, like he always has before. The deputies oh. know who he is and are watching for him. He wouldn't get into Diamond City without us knowing. Since he's avoiding the city, and us, we can only conclude he knows something and doesn't want us to find out what. You know, that seems fair. He's in for a shock if he thinks we're going to forget about this while any of us are still alive. We're posting a bounty for him to be brought to us alive when we get back to the city. Ooh, cool. How much How much for the bounty? Uh, apparently, I don't have any more questions, though. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Well, we're going to hunt down Lenny. Yeah, I remember that whole, the, the chemical thing. Cool. Okay. The sheriff is going to escort the three of us back to Diamond City. As you can imagine, we're in very good hands. Maybe I mean, we'll see though? you back there soon? Thank you for coming all the way out here. You take as long as you need, Bob. You hear? Thanks, DP. Just give me a bit longer. Then we can start the long haul back. We're going to stick around here a little longer. The sheriff has some power on the business with Zeke to take care of before we leave. Okay. Thanks again for coming all the way out here. No problem. Looks like Lily's got a knack for choosing her friends well. We'll see you back at the city later. I'm a little sad, though. I remember Lily being a fun character, but I do not remember her dying. (laughs) It's sad that she's not here now. Also, who's in there? Ah, Sheriff, yes. You do have some cool power armor. Love the lights. (laughs) I mean, it's a Sheriff, after all. So, cool. Also, I mean, Madam, come on, come on. You're standing on the grave. That's just rude. Okay, we can't steal the hat. I was kind of curious if we could. (laughs) Not that I would. That would just be crass. (laughs) But... Okay, so we don't seem to have a marker. Funeral service for living have ended. The guests will end when you leave the Adam Cat's or the quest will end when you leave the Adam Cat's garage area. Okay, well I kind of want to see if I can talk to anyone else here. Hi. Not now. Got it. Okay. Uh, Duck. <clears throat> the sheriff is going to escort us back to Diamond City. Uh huh. Uh huh. Take care of Bob. We'll see you back there. Okay. Got it. Got it. I, yeah, I don't think I can talk to anyone else here. I'm going to try though. Zeke. Hi. Yeah, got it. And Sister Luna, who I really don't remember. Yeah, hi. Uh, Not now, please. Understandable, understandable. Well, all right, I'll leave you be and leave the Adam Cat's garage here. I assume if we just go, like, right out here. Will the quest then change? Or do I gotta get farther away? Am I gonna have to get all the way back to Diamond City? Or, well, just... eh, Let's just go a little bit further, see what pops. Funeral invite removed. Oh, it just left my inventory, eh? Weird. Oh, and we have a new thing. Okay, okay, we have a marker in the world now. Business face. And it took a really long time to get the Adam to get to the Adam Cat's garage. Maybe you were sent some mail in the meantime. Alright, so we gotta go back and check our mailbox again. Got it. So back to the left field diner. Yeah, I remember Lily being a pretty cool character. I also think I remember the Brahmin they were talking about. I didn't we have to like Save that Brahmin? I vaguely remember this. I may be insane, though. Again, 2019 was when we played the the Bleachers. Which, man, wow, that took a long time to get out to Bleachers, too. <laughs> but I'm still looking forward to this, though. I'm remembering most of those characters, and that I liked all of them. They all seemed like good characters back then. Uh, so hoping they stick good now. Still don't remember Sister Luna. Huh. 
Interesting. But, let's go check our mail. And... See what may have changed. Oh, hey, you're back here now! Okay, I want to talk. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Dr. Pepper. Hi. Welcome to Left Field. Yaha. Uh -huh. The jewel of the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Yaha, uh -huh, yaha. Uh -huh. A little slice of Nuka World without all the assholes to fuck it up. Ha! <laughs> oh, oh, I guess because we did technically uh, skip through the Bleachers 1 quest with that cheat thing, but I guess not the dialogue. So we're still getting all of these. Interesting. Alright, well, I'm out. <laughs> oh, oh god, everyone's here. Oh, yes. no. oh hi, Deborah. Oh, hi, you. Yeah. Excuse me, Twisted Mister. I gotta go check my mail. And see what we got. Oh, I do remember Lily's death now, because that's how we got this room. I, it just dawned on me when I saw the Adam Katz thing here. That's how we got this room. This used to be hers, wasn't it? So yeah, that's Doc McClintock's. That's the greenhouse there. That's Mr. Yes. Dr. Pepper's and the sheriff's room. That's how we got it. Oh, I do remember it now. Oh, and it saddens me. All right, letter from a citizen. Okay, let's check that out real quick in here. Oh, I thought that was something. Oh, I think that's supposed to be a power armor stand okay okay so letter from a citizen let's check that out and then that'll be it for today's episode all right so, uh, there it is got it rumor has it you're a dudley do right sort of person i mean generally yeah if you're interested in a little work meet me to the north of the school at noon i would value discretion in this matter so please don't tell anyone sl I. Time is it now? God, it's all green. Okay, well, afternoon, so it is afternoon now. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll do that next episode. We're at 27 minutes here, so I figure, yeah, that's a good place to end for today. Oh, I forgot. That's our cooking stove there. Magnificent. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really excited to be back in this mod. A lot of stuff's starting to come back to me uh, from, you know several years ago when we played the bleachers i'm remembering characters love the place that we have here it's very cool so yeah we'll just start up with the quest here now and uh yeah do business face and meet the author of the letter north of the schoolhouse at noon good times oh god we're gonna have to okay so the... oh the schoolhouse here in diamond city i was wondering about that was it like one of the schoolhouses out in the world so yeah, we should be able to go do that next time. But yeah, so hopefully you have enjoyed this one today. Need you come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching as always. We'll have a good one.